Good morning, MHS. I'm Benji Shockman. And I'm Jacob Ross. And we're your new anchors. The people got what they wanted. Hashtag make Benji an anchor. Jacob, take it with the news. In MHS news, thanks to everyone who accepted this week's kindness challenge of helping someone with homework. Next week's challenge is to take the time to listen to a friend who needs an ear. Or maybe you're working through something and need to talk it over with a friend. This week, try to reach out and offer to listen. You can make a positive difference in your friend's life. In other news, Sophomore Student Council will be hosting a game thon in the library at lunch starting on May 20th with Mario Kart, NBA 2K19 tournaments, and Just Dance. There will be prizes for the tournament winners. Entry into the tournament is $3 except for Just Dance on Thursday which will be free for all. Sign up this coming Monday at lunch in the overpass, but hurry because limited spots are available. Jacob, do you know anything about the number 25? Well, Cam Theed and I wanted to share some fun facts that I think you may enjoy. Check it out. Here are some fun facts on the number 25. To begin, 25 is the minimum age to be a member of the House of Representatives. On this day, 25 years ago, Nelson Mandela was inaugurated as the President of South Africa. Barry Bonds wore the number 25 for the San Francisco Giants. Crowding the plate. The pitch. There's a long one to right field. Forget about it. The atomic number of manganese is 25. 25 years ago, The Lion King was released. 25 was the number of electoral votes from Florida that won George W. Bush the 2000 U.S. presidential election. 25 years from now, there will be a total solar eclipse. Adele's album, 25, was named after her age at the album's time of release. Our 25th president was William McKinley. In Mario Kart Wii, you can choose from 25 different characters. And there are 25 days left in the school year. Let's get through these final days, MHS. A reminder that you can still enter the Kemper Memorial Contest. Write an essay or a poem, create a video, dance, or piece of art. The top three winners will receive $250. See Mr. Green in D223 for more information. Want to practice your Spanish speaking skills with native Spanish speakers and meet new people at MHS? The Intercambio de Lengua gives you an authentic opportunity to meet students in our school who are learning English. Together, you can both gain confidence speaking another language. See Ms. Barquin in C102 next to the Humanities Office to sign up. There are many sports and activities that students at MHS are involved in, but some kids might debate which are sports versus activities. Video Foundation students and field reporters Kiara Cullen Dogali and Aiden Wood did some reporting to get to the bottom of this. Let's take a look. Here at MHS, students participate in various sports. I play basketball. Uh, I play baseball and basketball. I do cheerleading. Cheerleading? Some people are relentless in denying this to be a real sport, so we asked others about their thoughts. Cheerleading is definitely a sport because, like, you're kind of moving around. When people say it's not a sport, they're like kind of undermining the work you're doing. But if you fall, you could break your neck. Yeah, obviously, it's dumb hard. But what about other activities, such as bowling? Bowling? Um, there isn't much technique to bowling. Yeah, I think bowling's a sport. I don't really know why, but yeah. <laughs> sure. Although people are not as passionate, most agree that bowling is in fact a sport. And finally, let's talk about ping pong. It's like, it's not really a sport. I think ping pong is probably an activity, it's not a sport. Mm, that's more of a hobby. And now it's time to turn to our experts. My definition of sport would be a series of uh, athletic acts bound by a series of rules that determine a winner and a loser. Google pretty much agrees. Does this shift anyone's thoughts? Yeah, it does. I can, now I can see why bowling is considered a sport. No, I think it reinforces. It really kind of just like solidifies what I was saying. Opinions may not have changed drastically, but the real definition of a sport has definitely been clarified. 
This is Aiden Wood and Kiara Colin Dowjelly for, for MHS, MHS Info. Info. Thanks, Thanks for watching. The All Media Art Show Onward and Upward is next Thursday, May 16th at 5.30 p.m. in the Palmer Art Gallery. Light refreshments will be served. And right down the hall, starting at 6 p.m. in the Pace Theater, is a spring video show. Come get your photo taken on the red carpet and stay for the show. Here is a trailer for the video show. Make sure to come out to the video show. And good luck with your APs, MHS. And that was, was MHS, MHS Info. Info.